My initial response was kind of thinking about how the process of commissioning can be kind of a challenge towards including someone else's vision within my own broader practice. And I'm thinking about the ways that human perfection could be represented in a non-literal kind of sense. The piece that I'm currently making, I'm thinking about perfection and its concept as subjective and thinking about how that can continually be brought back to the viewer and their own interpretation of human physical perfection. I think that the human form is directly influenced by the spaces that it inhabits. I think that when you're moving through architecture in a domestic setting, the body has to directly conform to how that architecture exists. The other thing that I'm interested in is how a viewer can then feel moving through something and there's a kind of tactility about it, there's a capacity for fabric works to swish and move. There's a direct response to your body. Then there's this space where the body dictates the architectural form rather than the other way around. Within this piece I'm exploring the idea of architectural standardisation and things that are kind of taken for granted as a sort of standardised size. And that rigidity doesn't take into consideration the diversity of human forms inhabiting the architectural spaces. Within this work, there's a really lovely correlation between these kind of borders that look like painting frames, but also if put into a different formation, they reference a skirting board. And so there's this kind of like flipping between it being a language of fine art and painting and then it being an architectural map making or plan building process. I think that human perfection is entirely contextual. It's designed or thought about through um, the environment that sort of surrounds the person and that it's highly subjective.